Hey. Hello, I'm Tara Green with omensofalchemy.com and I'm here with Finpo and we're going to talk about acorns. Mm-hmm, acorns. Well, I've spent all day making acorn miso, and, but we're going to pick up on the end of it here, or what is over. Um, I gathered, believe it or not, 700 pounds of these this fall. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's and amazing. I, and I process them, meaning, meaning I dry them in mass and then crack them out and then dry them further. Right. And right. I end up, don't eat, you no, don't, don't need to buy them in these jars and they're without shells. And one of my innovations is then I just store them in water. Okay. And so, and about every two weeks I pour the tannin off and fill it with new water. And that way, this like six months later I come back, or three to six months, and then I can use them. You can walk up here. Okay, that's, to get a close up. Yeah, that's all. Just walk up here. And here they are. Uh, yeah, so the so acorns aren't really something you want to eat straight from the tree. They're not really soft yeah. or prepared. Right. There's too much tannin. Yes. So how many times do you think you go through this process of rinsing and so Well, these are pretty lightweight white acorns from campus here. And I would say once every two weeks. Okay. And, and it diminishes, you know, that you see the color. That's just yeah. from uh, this morning. That's just from a couple hours. And is that something you can use for well, anything? It is tannin. Tannin. Which so means uh, tan, tan, tan a hide uh -huh, with it. Uh-huh, and, and mordant. Mordant. There's a mordant use for it. Okay. I haven't done that. Yeah. But, uh, wow. and, you know, the, the tea we drink, like the regular green and black teas, they're, they're tannin. That's tannin. Mm -hmm. And wine has tannin in it, too. Yeah. So it's not it's not a harmful thing. It's just a bitter thing. A bitter thing. Yeah, yeah and bitters are something that are, uh -huh. are beneficial in some quantity. Yes, yeah, that's right. That's right. But, but the, the innovation is the storm in water. Uh -huh. Because if we store them outside of water and then you try to get the... There's all kinds of ways of getting this bitterness out of it. And it's always grinding, drying it out, grinding it down, pouring water over it, boiling it off. I mean, it, it stops a lot of the uh, thinking about it because it's, it's a little overwhelming to get these things de-bittered. Yeah. But if you just put them in a bucket, put water in there, and occasionally stop by and pour that off. See, I have one of these little rings here. I do this. And that's my setup for the winter. Then I can just pour that off. <laughs> nice. Keep the acorns in there. So with the 700 pounds that you picked mm -hmm. in the wild last year, mm -hmm. um, you just process them in small batches? Mm, Semi-small. Semi-small. It's, it's a pretty yeah, big batch. Pretty Two of these buckets at a time. Okay. I haven't, you know. Yeah, there's another another one. See, I have two of them going. Nice. And I give them away. You know, once they're uh, once they're leached, then people readily take them. Yeah. Because then it's just a meat. It's like a meat substitute or a grain substitute. Mm -hmm. it's, you can wholesale them. Wow. Yeah, I mean retail them. <laughs> yeah, you can grind them up and make those little mm -hmm. burger patties. Yes, those yes. Those are delicious. Yes. And so you process like a good portion of it into miso. That's one way. Yeah, to that that's my big. Prepare it. Yes, yeah. right. Miso. Here we go. So that's a ferment. It's a probiotic. Mm-hmm. Well, it's famous for anti-radiation and famous, <laughs> in, uh, you know, in, the, in, in Orient. Yeah. It's a staple item at any Korean supper. Mm -hmm. It's miso soup. So miso soup. Yeah. I learned it all. I love the Koreans. I mean, they have so much of this together. It's kind of unbelievable. Let's see if I can. I think that's it. Just store them in water. Store them water. Gather them, dry them, crack them, winnow them, dry them again, and get them in these jars. And then they'll sit in these jars, I don't know, five to ten years. And these are the already soaked ones? No. No, no. no. Okay. Unsoaked. Unsoaked. Yeah. So you can store them and then just soak them Yes, as you need. Right. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you get the idea. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah, it's working for me, that's for sure. All right, let's, uh, sh I'll show you what I did today. All right, let's go see. If I can. 
Oh yeah, I, I saved some. Oh good, good. Yeah, look in here. This one in here is six months of soaking. Okay. All right, and, and I and, and they're not cooked yet. They're just like this. This six is the way months. they came out of that same container this morning. Mm, wow. And there they. Mm -hmm. You can eat this one if you want. I will try it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, here. I'm gonna eat this. So. <laughs> and so uh, I take that and uh, mm. I start cooking it. Just like I follow a miso recipe from then on. Mm -hmm. Most miso is soybeans, and I've learned how to use garbanzos and all kinds of other things in the recent past. And now acorns. They eat miso real well. But you have to cook them. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then let's see if I've got anything ready for that. Well, I did cook them, and here's where I am. Come on in, Mary. This is a this is either a cheap thrill or, <laughs> or magnificent. But in here is half of my miso project today. I'm going to cook those when you guys. I could be doing it right now. Mm -hmm. And but I at least processed that many this morning. Okay. And they're in here mm. with the whole koji and Ooh. everything. Who koji? What's that? That's what's the uh, that's the miso making thing that makes the miso. Mm. And I, you can make koji at home, but here you are. Uh, koji, okay. Koji, you have to koji, use that. firm rice. Okay, koji, homemade miso. So. Yeah, I'm, I'll make it next year myself. You'll make it next year yourself. Mm-hmm. Nice. You just buy the, I think it's a mold, and you do it on dry rice. And it's those white specks in there. Okay. Yeah, bring that camera on up in here. And we'll just. Look at that. Yeah, that's oh, acorns so and koji. And so That's this it. you just prepared, and now this this will ferment mm -hmm. for six months. Well, uh, I, I've got I've got my uh, crocs. Yeah. And I have a croc cleaning cleaning a croc, and then you the actual process is to take this and really slam it in those crocs. You actually throw it in like a baseball. Throw it in. Okay. <laughs> so that there's no air. Yeah. So you don't want any air. Mm. So this is I'm halfway between and. Mm. I don't know if this is a tasteable, but go ahead. Taste it. it probably is. It's got salt in it. Mmm, it's delicious. Yeah, it's just fine. It's really good. Just like it is. Mm. Could, could fry it up. Oh, or, it tastes like bread or something. Yeah, absolutely. Very mm -hmm. good. That's right. Mm. And you can't even stop now, can you? No. It's yeah, I know, I know. Here, have some more. <laughs> Thank you. Mary, try some. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. It's really mm -hmm. yummy. It's very good. Mm hmm. Yum. <laughs> Look how much I have, and I'm going to have twice that much tonight. Oh, yummy. So, is that kind of like you could just make those into those burger patties? Yeah. Basically. And that's what it mostly is those burger patties. I, You might add some garbanzo or dandelion. Oh, I know oh. what I use for those burgers, and it's sprouted or soaked kamut. Soaked mud. That's what. That's the flavor combination and the and dandelion. Yeah, mm, yeah. That dandelion. was really delicious. That's right. I did stick dandelion in that, didn't I? Yeah. But yeah. that kamut will hold it together. You know, it's like it's it's just amazing little item. So mm. I don't know, two thirds acorn, one third kamut, mm, a little salt if you need to, and and then yeah, ready awesome. to go. Keep the flies out. So. Um, I mean, if we had time, I could just keep the process going because I could. I am in midstream. I could mm -hmm. cook them and, and could, you could see it. But well, yeah. I mean, this is this is great. Thank you for showing me mm -hmm. that process. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, at that point, it goes into a crock, and then you ferment it for six months, and then you put it in jars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Six months to a year, two years. It doesn't get. It it just gets better. Okay. Is the idea. Awesome. Let's see. Do I have any? See, I don't. See, I gave it all away, and I don't even have a sample of. Cause I've made that's my this is my third round. Are you cleaning me still? See, you got. Oh, uh, yeah. I just didn't clean the jar. Hey, we okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, I that's one right. I have these out because they sampled up. This is like a little alcoholic. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's strong. Yeah, it's definitely. It's alcohol. whatever, you know. Just, just don't take care of it. Just keep yeah. the lid off or something. I don't know what happens, but. Yeah. And I don't think I even know where I can get some for you that's actually gone through the six months. 
Okay. So, but well, I've come had back. it. Yeah, I tried it, and I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think that we can wrap up this video. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe mm -hmm. and like this video <laughs> and share it. Awesome. Bye bye. Thank okay. you. Oh, and well, good enough, huh? say goodbye to, to the your videographer. Mary. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Mary.